Hello again, everyone. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for joining me again. Well, we're here in these Shadow Cursed Lands, and as I said at the end of the last episode, I think we're going to try to start making our way over here to these ho this house in Deep Shadows. I don't know if we'll be able to get there. I mean, it, it actually says Deep Shadows, but um, we can't go any further this way because of the shadows, and I'm pretty sure we can't go this way either. I guess another option is to go this way and see where that takes us, but this is marked on the map, so we're going to try to do that. But before we do that, I want to take a moment and, um, well, let's, let's move away from there. Let's, uh, let's take the party back over here real quick. I want to go ahead and, I, I really don't want to rest again. Um, I will do, I think I will do a short rest. And, um... Oh, crap. All right. Hold on. Come on, party. Come over here. Um... I, uh, I think I'll do a short rest to hopefully heal up Fox and Carlac, and then I want to give everybody a Bardic Inspiration, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, although I might be out of it, actually. I guess I'm out of Bardic Inspiration. Okay, recharge on short rest. So let's go do a short rest. Oh, nice. Alright, both Fox and Carlac are both back to complete health. I'm going to go in here to my... No, not my latest. Um... Not by weight, what am I doing? By type, I'm gonna take these wondrous gloves, put them on Fox, and then he's just gonna walk around and give everybody a little bit of bardic inspiration. Whether they want it or not. And then you get some too, Shadowheart. Then I will put my missile snaring gloves back on right here. Okay, and then I'm going to have Fox concentrate on detect thoughts. Just basically, mostly just since he's just so he's concentrating. Because then I have the opportunity to cast concentrated blast. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna hit F5 after doing all that. Let's go ahead and um, bring Scratch into the party. I don't know why I didn't have him out before. And let's go ahead. Whatever it takes. And bring in a familiar. We'll just have a big old party here. Uh, let's get the spring of the cat. Nice. Make sure Fox still has the light on his weapon. Never a dull moment. He does. Okay, now I'll hit F5. Alright. Let's get to walk in here. Need to find a way forward. Go back up here. Go back up here. Maybe here. Take a look at the map. Okay, we're gonna walk up this way. And uh, I kind of want to open up just that little path right there. But maybe we need to go this way to get over this house. So it looks like east. Uh oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw that. I got nervous. Okay, so we're going to head east and then we're going to turn north. Okay, see, the fog is opening up here. Well, I'm hearing some weird sounds, I'll tell you that. Doesn't look like there's anything too terribly interesting down here. Over here, some bodies. We think we fought over there a while back. Okay, so we've opened up this fog. Now we're going to turn south and then go east over here. Here is a Dwergar. Uh oh, Scratch. What is it, Scratch? 
Whoa, Scratch, don't go so far ahead, okay? What is it? Wow, why are you going so far ahead, Scratch? What, what the heck? He's climbing a tree. Oh, now I can't see him anymore. What? Okay. Alright. Let's go see what Cra Scratch is looking at. Climbed that freaking tree. Is this what he climbed? These roots? Let's climb them. So, is this what Scratch saw? Is this what he was telling us about? This Dwergar? That might be worth it. Ah, no. That's what he was telling us about. This dirt mound. Let us dig. They need to work on that animation a little bit. It's out of order. 167 gold. This Dwergar here. Shadow Curse Undead. Salute him. Got a candle, five gold pieces, and he's got a book. Grey Scout's Journal. Let's check it out. Shitting near in his shitting scouting tasks. You, Dwergar, find another way through the Shadow Curse. Sure, right, shitting near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the Underdark. You can't be. Ha ha ha, I found your way through the curse, shitting near. The way through the Shadow Curse is to let the curse go through you. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Well, how'd that work out for you, bub? Not so great, unnamed Dwergar. Roots? Oh. It's these roots. Okay. Well, that was somewhat interesting. Let's climb back down. Oh. Fast travel point here. Okay, well, we can fast travel back here again, if we so want to. Looking at the map, yeah, I guess we want to continue on this way, maybe. Continue going east. Uh-oh, uh -oh. saving, oh boy. We've got an autosave. We've got a dead Githyanki warrior here. chest in there. Another did dead get Yankee warrior. Oh boy, I do not like that the game saved. I should send the cat forward to see if anything happens. Because <laughs> who cares if the cat dies? <laughs> it's not a real cat, alright? It's, it's conjured. It's not real. If it dies... Conjure it again. All I wanted was to play. She was no fun. Oh, I don't know where that sound effect came from, or that voice, I should say. Huh. I expected to see a body or a person here, but we're not seeing that. We're just hearing voices. I'm pretty sure we read something about this house a while back, but hell if I remember anything about it. What's up with this dead Gith Yankee warrior? Yeah, nothing. Nothing's up. I'm gonna just inch my way forward here. Give my party a chance to detect an ambush or something. You know? Got another dead warrior. <laughs> Someone knew maybe they want to play. Okay. Let's uh let's walk over here. 
Anything in the basket? No, nothing I'm interested in. Nor in that one. That will fit in my pack. Get a little bit of black oleander there. What is this place? What's that now? Did I hear growling? Was that Scratch? Scratch, were you growling? Lighten this baby. Anything to get some light into this creepy place. Dead Gith Yankee Warrior, Wooden Chest, and Dad's Axe. Let's have five it. <laughs> this is so great. This is so great. It's so atmospheric. Even though it's I mean, it's not even really third-party view, I don't think. This is God view. Even with this, it still manages to be scary. Stuffed owl bear toy. Well, look at that. Though threadbare and slightly dirty, this stuffed toy is soft and comforting, like a warm hug. Isn't that cute? Is there anything on the back of it? No. Broken cupboard. We are going to inch our way into this room. There's a wooden desk that's all locked up. Do I have a key for it? No. Boy, all those keys we picked up earlier, I don't know what they go to. We're going to lockpick this thing, keep doggone it. Out. Yeah, you're not going to keep me out. <laughs> you sure aren't. A book, Oliver's Diary. This book, oh, it just says the same thing over and over again. Read, Dear Diary, Day One. Nothing ever happens in this town. I'm ready to go to the gate. If mother won't let me, I'll run away myself. She says my lungs are too weak for the smoke. But how am I living at all when all I do is milk the rothe? How do you pronounce that again? I forget. Day 7. Huh, a strange fog is descending over our own town. Hasn't left in days. Getting hard to breathe. Mother is eating her words, saying we should head out to the city to stay for a while until it lifts. We go at dawn. Day 14. We tried to leave, but there are creatures from beyond the grave skulking around the outskirts of our land. It's too late. Day 21. The Rothe are all possessed, knocking down their fence, battling and bashing one another to death. Dying, then fighting again. The shadows are everyone. Right outside our window. I can't see more than a few strides out. Day 28. I'm not dead yet, but I'm going to die here, aren't I? I can hardly breathe. Why does it not get into our house? Why doesn't the curse take us already? Day 35. I can't stand this. I've been trying to write a memoir of myself, but it's still no good. I'm too weak to pen fine words. I am going to die unremembered, be what may. It's getting pointless to cower in here. There is nothing we can do about this all encroaching dark. Tomorrow. I will walk out into the fog and I will laugh. With love, a farm hand, forever to be unknown. Huh. Well, I think I remember reading something about that in another book. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those books on me anymore. They're all back at camp. But why are there Gith Yankee warriors here? Dad's axe. Uh, zero to five damage. Proficiency with this weapon type unlocks Lacerate. An old woodcutter's axe infused with a shadow's bleak curse. Do I want to pick that up? Boy, do I. Oh. 
There's Oliver. Revealed. And then not revealed. Oliver. What's all this face? He sure does have a lot of resistances. Slashing resistance. Piercing. Bludgeoning. Acid. Thunder. Immune to necrotic. Fire resistance. Lightning. Cold. Poison immunity. He's really only vulnerable to radiant. His dark vision opportunity attack. Perfect sentry. You can't be surprised. I guess that means he can't be surprised. And sunlight weakness. While in sunlight, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. So is he, is he an enemy? No, he's not. Not yet, anyway. Let's not loot this chest right in front of him. Do I want this? Do I want the toy? Do I give him the toy? Does picking up the toy make him angry? So many things. I don't know. Let's go talk to him. Here we go. Nobody beats me at hide and seek. Will you play with me? Hmm. Who are you? Play? This is no place for a child, if that's even what you are. Don't startle people like that. Easy way to wind up killed by mistake. In a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel. Uh, we can bard him up and say I can play you a little song. Well, seems like a harmless time to be a bard. Let's ask him if he'd like a song. Not that kind of playing, silly. Mm. I want to play His game. face isn't black anymore. It'll be really fun. Let me show you. Huh, that's weird. His face was black before. I don't know why it's not now. Don't you have anyone else to play with? You want to play fine? In a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel, or I don't have time for this. Yeah, let's ask him if he's seen Thaniel. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Weird. Now play with me. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Sure, let's play with him. Sure. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. Okay. And if I don't find you? Yeah. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. I don't think I like the sound of that. Okay, let's begin. Get ready. Oh, nice. And dark no cheating. again. No cheating. Oh, okay. Well, I can see I can see invisible. Dude, I can totally see where you're going. Okay, so he is over there. Nice try, kid. You can't hide from me. I can see invisible. Let's go, let's go find the kid. Okay. Let's play again. Good idea. You're smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time, so don't what? get caught. Okay, I don't like that. Entering turn-based mode. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. What the hell? It's daddy, strongest daddy ever, it says. What? <laughs> you can't even see him. He's a wraith. A wraith is a malice, is malice incarnate, concentrated into an incorp incorporeal form that seeks to quench all life. Even small fires can be extinguished by the sucking oblivion of the Wraith's horrifying existence. Resistant to slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, acid, thunder, immune to necrotic. Same as the kid. Except he's not um, vulnerable to radiant. How do you fight a Wraith? Okay, everybody's sneaking. So, are we supposed to go get the kid first? I don't want to pickpocket him. What am I... What am I doing here? 
Am I fighting the kid? Am I trying to talk to him? Am I fighting the wraith? Hello, little whatever you are. I know you're there. Come out. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what Shadowheart said when we walked over to him behind the cart. So, oh, there's another one over here. Oh, okay. Um. What am I doing? He said don't get caught. What, are they going to go away? Am I supposed to, like, just be walking around and not walk in their line of sight? What path lies before me? I really don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to try to avoid the red for as long as I can. I don't know. They won't see me come. I don't even know what I'm doing. Is that as far as you can go? Don't walk in the red. Wow, she can walk far. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Don't walk in the red. Am I supposed to just... Weird. I guess the dog isn't sneaking. But uh, we'll have the dog walk over there. Oh. God. Okay, well, apparently the dog walked in the red. Daddy's lecture. Daddy infuses his hands with putrefying energy to discipline the naughty children. Okay, let's try to re-roll. Missed. Oh, goody. There's a doggy over there. Great. Well, that dog can move. Aura of Vile Oblivion. That's mummy. Okay. What, why is Fox all grayed out? Because I'm asleep, and that's a why. Um, 67 health. Great. Where'd daddy go? Oh, he's up here now. Oh, great. He even has an advantage. So... Yeah, unfortunately, Fox is the only person who can see in the dark. Or see invisible, so I don't know... Whether... I don't know. Are we, I guess we're supposed to fight these things. Um, well, as usual, I'd like to try to take these out of the picture here if I can. Hold person. Hold a humanoid enemy still. Yeah, not humanoid. Um, are these undead? Are they considered undead? A wraith? I don't see any mention. Can I turn undead? Pray to turn all undead that can see you. I don't know if they're undead, though. I'd hate to waste a um, spell. Are they undead? Yeah, this thing isn't going to tell me what undead is. Uh, let me hit F5 here. I'm going to try this, and if it doesn't work, I'll go back. Oh. Wow. Well, none of them are in the circle anyway, except for maybe him. 35% chance. Well, that isn't going to help me any. Um. Wow. Wow. Fear. Tried this before. Target is blocked. I mean, I could cast fear on the dog, I guess. But the dog isn't the one I'm real worried about. Hmm. Boy, I tell ya. Can I wake Fox up? Ungroup. Weird. Okay. So Fox is sleeping. Sleeping. Uh, a sleeping creature cannot move or act. Moreover, the creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against it have advantage. 
and any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within 1.5 meters of the creature. Re removed by taking damage or when helped. Okay, we need to wake him up. So we're going to help Fox. Wake up, dude. Okay, so he's no longer sleeping, but that did take her turn. But we're going to go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon. We'll cast it over here by the dog, I guess. Uh, let's do... Um, Trident. Sure. Well, that's piercing, though. These things are resistant to everything. So I don't really know... I mean, are they resistant to bludgeoning? I think they are. Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter which weapon I cast. It's not going to do any good, but at least it's another thing. Sure, great axe, why not? Okay. Um, it can, okay, it can attack. Let's see if we can get this thing to bleed. Oh, for crying out loud, I missed. Okay. Come on, can't stay idle. All right. Um, what are my chances here? Oh, he lost concentration when he fell asleep. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool that it happened, but it's cool that it happened. They're all spread out, man. I gotta take one of these guys out of the picture. Breathe deep. I got to. Um. Charm. Crown of Madness. Can't, that's only for humanoid enemies. Must have an intelligence of five or higher. Okay, maybe I could try Hideous Laughter. Okay, that one's taken out of the picture for a while at least. That's good. And, um... That's all we can do there. I'm gonna walk just right here. Okay, she's ready, except there's nothing else she can do. So she'll have to end her turn. Do I want her to walk anywhere? This guy's up top. I don't think he could get to her from there. Okay, so we've got a starry on here. The subtle approach. So we could have him sneak. Where'd the dog go? Maybe he can't see him where he is. On my way. Was he seen? He was spotted by the dog. Why can't I see the dog? It's weird. I can have him misty step up here. Okay. But I can't have him hide. Ready for another round. And then um, I could have her try to misty step up here. Because I want her to start wailing on this guy. Oh, damn it. No. Oh. She didn't misty step up there. She misty stepped over here. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, gone it. Alright. Run over here. Soldier. Where's the dog? I don't understand why I don't see the dog anymore. Where did the dog go? I don't know, man. I mean, seriously, where is it? Is the dog invisible? Shadow blend and shadow veil. Can I just attack the darkness? I don't think I can. Just swing in a circle. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do? Oh. Oh, 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 great. Okay, Lemmy's laughing. He just brought this dead Gith Yankee 
No, no, no. He he took the body. Okay, good. I was worried that he brought that dead Geth Yankee warrior to life. But instead, he just took over his body. Okay, Fox, can you run over here and try to get this guy to laugh, maybe? With haste. Can you see him? Not enough movement. Doggone it. Shoot. Ah. Well, crud. Um, well, now I can't do anything at all. Not enough movement. Oh, got it. Shoot. All right, well. I can't... I can't do anything. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's the kid. Wait a minute. The kid's right here. But I don't have enough movement. I don't, and even though the kid is here, I don't really know what to do with him. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to attack the kid, I don't think. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I could lay this down. But he's just... I mean... Immune to poison and necrotic. I mean, acid, thunder, fire, lightning. I mean, halved is halved. It's better than none, but... Cold? He saved, but we did five points of damage. Okay, so apparently I can't do anything to this frickin' dog. Have to keep going. But can I do anything to him? Bestow curse. I have to touch him. Fear. Is that is that far enough? Do I need her to walk closer? F no, not bestow curse. Fear. I don't know. Let's try it. Fear does not appear to be working. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um, They seem to be picking on Carlac, so let's give her the, the Shield of Faith. So, are you spotted? Cunning action, hide. This is an action. So let's have him hide. So now he's hiding, so we should be able to do a sneak attack with an advantage. Spill some blood. 19. Not bad. Bye forever, pal. Okay, I do not know what happened to the dog, but we're going to go over here and wail on this guy a little bit. Bonus action. Let's charge it up. Okay, let's go. I don't think they can bleed. Ready for this. 15, 19. That's pretty good, really. Okay. I didn't think to do the circuitry interface. Maybe next time. Boy, we're actually doing pretty good against this guy. Fair amount of damage. And then we got the weapon that can't get over there. To nobody's surprise. Can I fly over there? Can't reach it. Yeah, I can't really go anywhere. Well, I'll leave this here in case the dog shows up again. Save versus life drain. Dark currency's up here now. Dog took a bite. Oh, she's prone, man. Yikes. Still laughing. That's good. Uh, she got back up. So, what am I supposed to do with the kid? I don't want to... 
I don't want to... We just have to fight these things. I don't know. I can't do anything to the dog because I can't see it. Can Fox see the dog? Walk over here, Fox. At the ready. Fox can't see the dog either. So I don't really know what the heck to do. I can't see him, I don't think. Um... I don't... Normally, well, I guess I don't see him. Okay. Well, alright. 55% chance, sure. Okay, he's hideously laughing. Oh, damn it. No. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> no. When will I ever learn? Now I'm not concentrating on this one anymore. Ah. <sighs> Now this one's free to move around. Doggone it. Man. Well, the thing that sucks is this dog is still here. But I can't see it. Shadow Veil and Shadow Blend. Shadow Veil. While lightly or heavily obscured, the Shadow Mastiff is resistant to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Shadow Blend. While lightly or heavily obscured, this sh creature gains the ability to be blend in with shadows become invisible. Well, I mean, can I cast light? That's, um... Sunbeam. Let's cast it this way. I don't know. 17 points of damage to the dog. Well, nope. 17 points of damage to the cart, I guess, and it didn't even expose the dog. All right, whatever, man. Good grief. Gosh, I'm just so annoyed that I broke the concentration on that one. Doggone it. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this damn dog. I tried to, ca you know, get some light over here. Maybe I should have just cast light. Let's turn someone inside out. So this guy's laughing, but we're going to go ahead and try to kill him anyway. Get into Crouchy Crouch. Take this guy out, will ya? Okay, so we killed one of them. That's good. So bummed, man. Oh well, we were gonna start wailing on this guy anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not sure how he's gonna get down from here. <laughs> have him just walk to this edge. Maybe he could sh shoot from there or something. What's this? Okay, so again, there's this dog over here and I can't do anything with because it's invisible. So we're going to have her I mean, I could have her dash over here, but this thing's probably going to do that thing that it does and then oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second, is there a brazier around here? There's a brazier here that I know I lit. Uh, I don't see any light. I mean, I could have her get out her torch. <laughs> um, I don't know, let's have her do this for now, why not? Something. Okay. So she's raging and she's got circuitry in her face. Got it. Well, still can't see the dog. No idea where the dog is. I think it's right here. So I really don't know what to do with her. Um Let me see, do I have a scroll of light or something? A lot of lightning. Guiding Light, Scroll of Blight, Essence of Night Light. Light Crossbow. So it looks like I don't have any kind of light. Hearth Light Bomb, what does that do? Bathe a nearby area in light. Oh. Has she already done her action? Why can't, um... She throw this thing. 
Isn't this a throwable thing? I don't know. Send it to Carlac. Throw. Just throw it on the ground. <sighs> well, that didn't do anything. Okay, so either that's baloney or the dog is not nearby. So I don't know what else to do with her. I hate to waste her turn, but she can't do anything. Same thing with this. this. So, I don't know. I was going to say, why don't you just start making your way in that direction? Oh, the dog is down there, I guess. She's going to... Oh, she just went right there. Okay, just enough to put him to sleep. Okay, so I guess the dog is actually over here somewhere. And she has light, so she might be able to see the dog. Heading there. Or not. Good grief, why am I not seeing this dog? Target must be an item, so I'm supposed to cast this on an item, so I can't just simply light up an area. I have nothing to cast on. Cast it on myself. Hey, there we go. But, unfortunately, that was her turn, so now she can't attack the dog. <laughs> Can I push the dog off the edge? Ooh, I pushed him so far away. Alright. Can you, um, see this dog, dude? Can you attack it? I have a disadvantage. Oh, it's a little bit outside of range, but I'm going to attack it anyway. Uh, seven points of damage. Um, I kind of like him being up there. Maybe the dog will come up this way. Let's have him uh, now they see me. crouch. God, it's hot in here. <laughs> okay, go attack this thing. Do it. Ooh, fun. Okay, 16. Attack it again. Nice, it's dead. Okay, now we just need to deal with Mommy. Holy cow, she can move a lot. Covered. I think it has to do with her strength. Okay, now it is this weapon's turn. Might as well just go in this direction. What are you going to do? You're going to go up there, and I don't blame you. Okay, so the dog is dead. So Shadow Heart... Can't get over to him, unfortunately. Um, help... Not throw, not throw. Um, help is an action, and so is dash. So I can't dash over to him, over to, him to help him. But we may as well get over there anyway, so let's dash as close to him as we could get, and then we'll save him. We'll help him next time. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Okay. Can I... No, path is interrupted. Shoot. That was a scary sound effect. Can you walk over here? And then can you walk here? Come on now. Ah, it's going to make me walk through there. Can I see now? Yes! Well, okay, attack. 94% chance. Attack. Path is interrupted. Okay. Fine. Walk up there. It's going to be seen. Hiding successful. That's good. Now can you attack? There we go. 20 points of damage, not too shabby. Starion's really helping a lot. Okay, fade back into the darkness, dude. On the hunt. Heating up. Okay, so... Can she jump up here? Yeah, she could jump pretty high. Okay, then we're gonna have her walk right here. Try to have her walk here. 
And then we'll have her attack. Nice. Nine. Do it again. Critical hit. Nice. Down to 26 health. <laughs> this stupid weapon. Well, go ahead and fly up there, dude. Oh, come on. Whatever. Hey, it keeps putting out the fire. That's funny. Oh, Fox got up. All right. Well, I'm not really sure what Fox is going to do from down here. You know? Has interrupted. We have low ground. Vicious mockery. Yeah, sure, why not? Time for mercy. Where are you going? Way over there. Okay. Four points of damage. Thanks for helping, Fox. Good job, buddy. What should I do? What should you do? Well, I'd like you to get up here. Looks like there's some aura around this thing. I probably don't want to get around this thing. Aura of a aura of vile oblivion. All nearby light sources get extinguished when the wraith is nearby. Okay. Interesting. Can she get up here? She sure can. Let's see. Okay. And she has an attack available still, which is interesting. Apparently jumping is a bonus action. Let's throw some radiant light on this mofo. 50% chance. Ooh, and a radiating orb. Okay, 15 health. Back to Astarion. I don't think we're going to be able to shoot her from here. I am wrong. Nice, good job, team. Okay, now what? Um, let's see. Uh, Shadowheart. Oh, I don't think there's anything for us to loot, is there? There's not. There's not, indeed. I've got a long road ahead. All right, Fox, go in here to the kid. And through. Talk to the kid. Let me hit F five. Just in case. I win. I always win in the end. I'm starting to disapprove. Most though, so I'll let you go. Here, second prize. You'll need it. Reward: hide and seek. We managed. Okay. All right. You can get off the screen. I'm trying to read this now. Thank you. Yep. Mm hmm. We managed to beat Oliver at his own game. He gave us a prize for finding him. You receive this ring. Ring of Shadows. Gives you pass without trace. For some, darkness is wielded like a black opal stud embedded in a signet ring. Fashioned to a sharp and unforgiving point. Okay. Sure. Right, can we talk to him again? I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Go on, find someone else to play with. Well, unfortunately, that did not help us. It is not going to help us get through the... the more difficult shadows. But... let's get in this chest. Oh, wait a minute. I want, um... I want Shadowheart nearby. Oh, great. She's not going to jump down from up there. Okay. All right. Let me take control of her individually. I wonder what the next move is. Have her jump down. Okay. Please walk over there. Thank you. Okay. Okay. They're not going to come down either. All right. Let's control them individually as well. Touch me. Yes. Let's. Okay, he's fine. We'll have him walk over here. Karlak. Okay. Got it. Okay, the gang's back together. Fox, will you lockpick or yeah, lockpick this, please? Get out of the way, kid. Get a little bit of guidance. All right. A 
unlocked. And inside, a rotten fish, a rotten lemon, and a ring of mental inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. The patterns in the ring's swirling metal make your head spin whenever you look at them for too long. It's kind of neat, I guess. Do I want to take this toy? I don't know. I took it. Screw you, kid. I'm taking your toy. Well, um, I guess we're done talking to the kid. What if somebody else talks to him? Someone there. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Well, I don't know what Go he would have given him if we beat him. <sighs> and I guess beating him would have consisted in finding him without being seen by the wraiths. So we fought those stupid wraiths for no reason. It's the dog's fault. The dog walked into the line, line of sight. Well, I was hoping that we would come here and learn or find something, learn of something or find something that would help us get through the shadows, but no, we did not. So I don't know what we're going to do now, but I am going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll go ahead and expose the rest of these dark areas if we can. Should be able to expose these. I don't know about this or this. We'll do that. Uh, I'll take a closer look at my quest list to see if there's any hint as to where I'm supposed to go to lift the... Uh, uh, to, to get something to let us through here. I don't know. But we'll do that next time. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Sure hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.